Hi, I'm Tassa Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a natural feather light moisturizer. Now let me show you how to put it together. Okay, so I have my water phase measured out here and next is my gum phase. So this is gonna help build the structure of my moisturizer. So I'm using the Ulta Gelatium Gum, which is Sclerotium Gum. Now you do wanna use a fairly small input. You want just enough to stabilize, but not too much where it's gonna add a lot of viscosity or make your moisturizer very gummy because remember it needs to be feather light. So I'm gonna go ahead and slurry that in my glycerin and then I'm gonna add that into my water phase. Now this won't hydrate fully straight away. It will start to thicken up a little bit when we add a bit of heat, but at the moment there's not much viscosity there, which is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that one there on heat. And while that's heating, I'm gonna to put together my oil phase. So in my bowl here, I've got the Olivum 1000. This is an oil and water non-ionic emulsifier. So this generally gives really light emulsions. Now the point of feather weight or feather light products is that they are extremely light. So they're perfect for oily skin and also um, the humid climates as well. So you do want to use around nine or 10% of your lipid phase and you want to use some light feeling lipids. So here I've got some Flora Mac 10. So this is a really nice light feeling ester. It's also long spreading, which is perfect for a moisturizer. And I am also going to be adding some capillic capric triglycerides. Now this is medium, um, light to medium skin feel. So this is going to give a really nice light weight texture to it. And we're going to pop that one on heat also. Okay, now I'm gonna add my oil phase once it's all melted to my water phase. And just using high shear, you will see a nice emulsion start to form. Now you just want to keep stirring until that's cool and then we're going to add our heat sensitive materials. Okay, now once that's cooled down, I'm going to add my heat sensitive materials. Full viscosity will be achieved the next day, so it's a little bit runny at the moment. So I'm going to add in my, I'm using a naturally derived fragrance here. So this is the Mango Colado by Keith Harris. This smells really, really nice and sweet. I'm also gonna add in my preservative and just a bit of antioxidant. Okay, and lastly, we're just gonna check and adjust our pH. and we're just gonna cover it and leave it and assess it the next day. Okay, so here's what my moisturizer is looking like the next day. As you can see, that's thickened up quite a bit compared to yesterday. It's looking really nice and glossy. It's very light to pick up and really, really light to apply. It's not heavy or dense. It's feeling really nice. No greasy, heavy residue. Nice and fluffy. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a feather light emulsion. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on the rest of our videos. Happy formulating.